Canadian hoggers. Sorry, I'm. Who's my stage husband, <laughs> Macbeth at the moment, and he's going to introduce himself and then take four singers through their paces. <laughs> and I'm going to be sitting on the back, excuse me, tip tapping away, but I have some more things to attend to. <laughs> uh, first of all, thanks to Linda uh, Thompson for inviting me to what was uh, a lifelong desire. Part of this of uh, coming to Australia. Um, my debut in the country, my debut in the role, um, my debut in meeting some incredible close friends that will remain lifetime friends. Um, it's such a pleasure to work with David Brand, who we have, um, it's a small pond as everybody knows, in other words, it's a very small world. And um, we met people from way back, my friend Dave, either one of us. But um, from the very beginning, the relationship was established, which is important because you don't always get that with a conductor and a singer. Um, it's a business, it's a capital business. Um, on any day, someday the voice comes with you, someday he or she stays in the bed. That's why we do it. It's not a robot. Um, we have the opportunity of going in, uh, recording in the studio, and having it several times. Um, you, know, you can get because of this, because of that. You do a live show and you only do one at a time. That's you and it's permanently on. And we all know how much the web and the uh, viral things go out there. So it's important to be at our best as much as we can be at our best. That being said, um, live shows have been most of the exciting. Um, I've done this for 27, 20, almost 28 years. I took a break. Um, we first had agreed to meet and greet when we first, everybody arrived and I was over the jet lag. Um, we had the opportunity to meet the cast, which I think is incredibly important. Um, you don't always get that opportunity. Um, people come in and fly in and fly out, um, and the relationships aren't established. When you can establish those types of relationships, the magnetism, the musicality, the uh, presentation that you try to give to the public is going to be seen and felt. And so in this situation, although it was a short commercial uh, period, it's very, uh, very rewarding to be with you. So I'm grateful that you are here. I will give you advice. You can take it just like anyone else. Um, but it doesn't come from not knowing where you have been, or where I've been and where you are. Um, <clears throat> I'm not a voice teacher. Uh, there are so many young artists program that uh, have it on their bio and TV so that voice teachers in their 21, 22, and 23. I give you much courage for that. Um, please don't ruin younger voices that way because we're still trying to figure it out ourselves. And self include I still take voice commands. I still take uh, direction from the people that I trust. Uh, I would urge you to continue to do that in all things. You can always find something whether you agree with it or not. If you don't agree with it, why don't you agree with it? If you do agree with it, keep it in there. And as long as it works for that time period, and I mean, it's always evolving, the body's always changing, the physical body is always changing, the outdoor weather's always changing. Uh, the last time I checked, this was not Saturday night for <laughs> Macbeth outside. Um, so if you're singing and it's steaming, you're lucky because at least there's some moisture in here. Um, but just, uh, I'm, I'm a humble singer. I don't like talking about myself, so that's going to be about it. Um, I'm a believer in Christ, and that is the most important thing to me. Um, David and I share our beliefs, um, and they are similar. They're not exactly the same, but they are similar. And I think that's an impersonal thing. That's as much as what your voice is and what you believe in. And there's got to be a place where you can go when you get pain or you don't have work and you have so much angst in you, you have to have a place where you can be peace, at peace, and believe in yourself. 
and be your worst critic. And whatever somebody puts on a piece of paper one day, maybe it hurts you, maybe it helps you. Keep the one that helps you, but the ones that hurt you in a basket somewhere. And say why. Um, other than that, uh, this one of you want to go first. Alexandra will go first. Do you mind? I don't know. 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 Yes, I shall go.
Can I have those? Yes. Please. Forgot to take yeah. them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what I've had the opportunity to notice um, being in Minka and in seeing the enchanted gig and Popea, that this young lady has the ability to stay focused and to keep you engaged as audience members and tap dance, stand on one toe, um, <laughs> sing, and still bring across what the audience deserves. Mm -hmm. I don't know how auditioning goes in Australia, okay? I'm gonna go from the fact that you are gonna win, you're out to either win a competition, you're out to go for a job. Can you take your shoes off for me? And in this area, you are seducing them? Seducing. Why is that? Because our churches are not, well, churches, we are not in power, and you could say, and we are trying to bring down the Jewish temple um, before Christ, which is something that we feel, um, this is the Palestinian people, we can do. If we um, bring down Samson for this at this point, a sort of a demigod and he's got Christ kind of on his side, giving him this ungodly strength. Um, power through which I can sever if I manage to pull him away, seduce him, and then cut his head. So Samson gets his hair from God. It does. And his strength goes blind at the end of the offering, which is down the temple. For it a does, while. yes. I'm going to ask if I can hold your hand. Pretend that I am the one, the person that you are trying to seduce. Mm -hmm. Is this? It's not. It's very contained. Okay. Right? That's all about you. If mm -hmm. you're if you're if your country is relying on you to seduce mm -hmm. another person, what would you do with you? I would be just natural what what would Alexandra do? I would very much be more focused on Samson himself. Right. Um, my arms would immediately be sort of on the chest and the palms. Yeah, I'm going out of your way and the lights underneath you aren't getting casting shadow. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of idea. Yes. Um, this is one of the most seductive songs in your rep. Complete. Yes. Uh, you can make or break it but at this point. Or Samson will come in and push the wall down. Mm -hmm. um, heard a lot of great singers singing. Heard a lot of great singers act that you've not seen it so well. Mm -hmm. The idea is to release yourself. Put yourself in that person's shoes. Put Alexander in that person's shoes. Mm -hmm. And how would you literally seduce, seduce someone? Now, again, you're going to have to do direct business, maybe. And I cannot follow it if you wish. Mm -hmm. To follow it because you're going to either meet them to the same thing, you're going to meet them on the way up or the way down. Um, and at least in the United States right now, there are uh, assistant directors when I was just starting who are running companies now. Mm -hmm. So you're going to meet in one place or another. Um, your body has to be completely because I know we're in a very small room. Sorry. And you know, we put them back to our hosts. Um, but uh, you have to do it. In my opinion, you have to do it. All. If you just stand, the days of just standing there, mm -hmm. going into the stage, having a neck marker spot, and sing are completely gone. Because you can be good at television, you can be good at movies, you can be good at social media, you can be good at goods. Just go in. If you haven't seen your wife all weekend, or your partner all weekend, you won't go home and have snuggle. Mm -hmm. So, what's going to make this show, your performance, bring the folks out? Otherwise, they are going to be lost. That's not all the pressure on you. That is just the general idea. Mm -hmm. And I've talked to several people in different levels, especially since I've been here. And it's the same problem in the show. If you're competing against, you want eye passion. It's not um, the idea of just going out there singing a lovely song and being done. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So it's the first two lines of the aria. Huh? 
seduced seduced 3,500 people in their way. You don't have to look at all 3,500 of them, but make them believe that you actually feel the words that you're saying. Mm-hmm. You can be a- afraid of it because what's going to happen if you don't cut his hair? Yeah.
Okay, while well, I was on the way. Huh? I'm gonna go first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, anybody. I mean, folks here. <laughs> do you want to sing some? Miles sings a lot more than I do. Great shoes, Ryan. Great shoes. Oh, hey! You're lucky. Doesn't either one of those striped shirts? No, I thought about it. It's too hot. So, we've got uh, Leo Guinot. Leo Guinot. I am Urbain. Urbain is a page boy. In this area, I am trying to convince my confidant, Raoul, to have a secret meeting with an unnamed girl who happens to be a Protestant. And Raoul is a Catholic man, so... Scandal. <laughs> we all know how this It's not good. <laughs> all right.
um, to forgive me for stopping in the very beginning. No, uh, right. I know this show pretty well because I recorded it in the lecture recording, and uh, the young lady that sang it, uh, we did enough saving on the young lady that sang it, went down to the Met the next week and has had an international career since then. And I'm getting the little bit of their last name, I believe. And one are the right person's in the audience. You never know who's out there. So again, it goes back to what we were talking about all the time. You seem as though uh, the only, the only, uh, I can't say Daniel Levine anymore. Um, the top companies in the world, each representative is out there, along next year, sitting right next to you. The first one is in the best, you can't do long hours out here. Um, but you never know who's out there. And you never know who knows who that is out there. And you always want to do your best. Um, so piano starts at the piano. Mm. Don't give so much at first. Um, Mike suggested the tempo in, for now in the runs, because you don't want to. Uh, I understand that's very good. I know it's very early still. But you have a uh, forte called canto, which means a, a forte with the voice, because the voice is moving and you have a simple accompaniment underneath it. Um, try to be near rehearsing, or we can just go to the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so give me, uh, you know, no, 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 Think about what we just did. Uh -huh. You want to take your shoes off, you can take your shoes off. Get it, get it, get it, you should get it comfortable. Um, because this is where you will have to go when you get out of there. Mm -hmm. And you want to feel the same. You don't, you don't want to have the stress of, oh my gosh, the panel's there, they're going to give me $30,000, or I'm going to have you know, my world break, or you can't look at it like that. You're at home, singing in the shower, as they say sometimes. You find your most comfortable place, and you do your best, and you leave it all out there, and then you move on. Mm -hmm. Can we do that again? You go your, you go how you, your tempo, of how you can get through at least half of it without breathing. Because in that one, you breathe three times. The first one, you breathe three times. And then that's in the end of the problem. What? Yeah. Um, the man, maybe. Man. Thank you. 
on rest. I will have one that for me. <laughs> it says forte, called canto, which means forte with the voice. With Right? Okay. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, you don't know, have anything underneath you. I'm not saying go ballistics, but going up is always more difficult. Mm -hmm. Coming down, get down, get out of the way, seeing you know this, out of there, breathe, and prepare the people for the last. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee it. Nine times out of ten, they're going to like it. So anytime um, color is work, but to keep with it, if it's a company, obviously more to approach. Mm -hmm. If it's not, and, it's set, and the composer <laughs> says quote, kind of work, so you have a great shot. Great. I just got an idea. Please. That could be a winery, you know, we've got La Boheme and the Volta, they could be called Canto Vines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need another winery in your dark day. Yes, we do. You have great facial expressions, you have great presence. Um, continue to work. If you trust and I mean truly trust the person that you are working with and singing with, stick with them. Mm -hmm. But always have in the back of your mind that they don't know everything because they don't. They're teaching what they know. Mm -hmm. I'm coming and I'm telling you a few simple things. You need to take away from it. You can't. Um, you know, it's called comfortable without rest. That's the number one. Hey, it's me and myself and you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You have the physical presentation you have, the faces, everybody is drawn to you because you are engaged. It's like Alexander. Both of you have that incredible gift. Your butts. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you have this incredible gift and you joked with me the first day, the first time I saw you. <laughs> when I had to that Jedi, you said that you were going to steal the show from me. And I said, good on you, because, uh, what a nice to just good to go, good on you. Um, <laughs> You want to have that because that's what it's going to take to get you to the next level without having the ego mm -hmm. and the arrogance because your career can drop like that mm -hmm. and be destroyed. It's very incredibly fragile. In this thing, the reason I stopped at the very beginning, keep the pianos what they are. Your piano is going to be different from somebody else. Yeah. Your forte is going to be different from somebody else. Play with this as far as because the idea is you want to get through every one of those runs on one breath. Uh -huh. And that's when they go, yeah. what are they going for? And uh, breath down, breath supported. You don't have to fill it up and hold it. Never fill it up and hold it. You know, it's like a balloon. In and out, in and out. There's a split second when it comes in and a split second when it goes out. Mm -hmm. Sustain. When you're finished with the air, blow it out completely, get rid of it, fill up again. Because a half filled gas tank <laughs> in a singer's body will fatigue you out quicker yeah. than anything. And what's the point? Yeah. There, there is true. So far. So far. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No, no, you just look. Michael. Um, um, maybe I'm misinterpreting the French. But I'd love to oh. see more, no, 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 okay. no, mm -hmm. more of a conversational approach because you're persuading this, yes. this person. So I'd like to, personally, I'd like to see a little bit more gesture and, and, and a bit more of that persuasion yeah. being visible from, from me back here. Of course. Absolutely. It's just a thought. No, no, no. no it's, and it's very good. But, um, it goes back uh, just a couple of years ago and then and I started singing. Um, we had the ability to not have to do that whole acting thing. Mm -hmm. um, you could, if you wanted to. Um, it was usually the ones that had the great and mighty voices that could plan, stop, not do anything. All I had to do was look at their face. Mm -hmm. And the voices we carry. Um, if, again, if you're competing with movies, and you're competing with any kind of any kind of other entertainment. Use the eyes, use the face, 
use the body to be engaged. And uh, again, the, all of this stuff has to be in the back. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, some days you're going to be like, oh, God, I, I'm feeling pretty good. Let, yeah. Let's go ahead and nail that sucker. Yeah. Or go with what's written and, and move on. Yeah. Um, some days are good, some days are bad. You have to work through that. Your body should never, your body should always be able to do it. If your body can't do it, you should probably cancel it. Show it. Call it and say it. Because that's the minimum. Yeah. That's, what, that's what Michael said. That's the minimal that we expect as an audience member. Yeah. If you just go up there and sing and bore me to death, and everybody can sing. Yeah. Especially everyone in the tier can sing. You have your different preferences, your different voice staff that you prefer. Um, but if you don't bring the full package, you're cutting yourself and you're cutting everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Where am I on the uh, adjudication time I think? Because I can probably spend a lot more time with him. Um, did you Do we have two to more? Sing the first three bars of Missy Dart or something? I've got Missy Dart. Yeah, but, uh, that's, thank you for the reminder. Yeah. <laughs> now? Yeah. What do you want on? Yeah. This is just an experiment, David. I believe that we should. You and I and then the same the same I do. <laughs> uh, Tosca is the second most productions that I've ever done. I, I didn't see Tosca. Uh, <laughs> Disappointing. But, yeah, right. <laughs> um, but there, this is one of the top, I'd say top three. Some people top five, some top ten. Ours of all time. Uh, but no, popular of all time. Everybody, I'm sure of that too. Um, I do want to let you know what this says. Let's see before you come in. Oh, thanks. Again, yeah, no, I don't know what that, that's not And that's. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just letting you know. Um, there is a certain opinion that we do not believe that she is currently singing the uh, rap that she will eventually sing in her particular voice type. Um, can go into a dramatic soprano uh, with the proper training and the proper direction. And so this, uh, we're relaxed. Um, I just wanted to hear it to see if it's there because I hear it in the back of my head um, in the small amount that we work together. And so uh, this is Visi Darte from uh, the small unknown opera of Tosca. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is her most vulnerable point in the opera. Um, and some somebody's at the door. It's actually in the other. Leave it to the tenors to come in late. Classic. Oh, 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 oh. Classic. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just, just, just. Come on in fellas, come on in. Glad you're here. No worries. No worries at all. Thanks for being here. Just, just, just. All right, so um, what she just sang was, you know, mezzo rep. Um, Is it? It's really mezzo rep. Whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, it should have been. Anyway. <laughs> um, and so this is just a trick, uh, just something that solves some curiosity that a couple of us in the room have had about what are the possibilities uh, or a possibility that you might have. No, if you have the music, it uh, doesn't matter if you, what, uh, how, how much and however you would like to <laughs> sing. Um, but I would just like to hear some of it. And I know David hates this opera. He never likes to play it regardless of where he's at. <laughs> um, do you actually have it? Yeah, we do. We okay. sing, we sing. We sing. We sing. Now you know. <laughs> But um, I just want to do this, um, and I think it'll be interesting.
Cosa ne fa? Il tech ci dà. Cosa ne fa? Yes. Yes, there are double constants. Yes. Yes. All right.
um, face the people that are paying the money? This way, doesn't like face the neck. Your whole body. Do you want a pillow? Whole body. <laughs> you worn out. This is where am I? They vanished. The floor is gone. You got a pillow? I need something. Okay. Good. I got a pillow. I'm good. This first few months. Everything goes like four minutes a minute. Yeah, sure.
loved someone as much as he's loved her. Like there's never been another uh, impetus for such heavy emotion as she has been in his life. So uh, yes. What are you? What is your character? What, what's your character's profession? Uh, Mario is actually a painter. So um, he's within this uh, this chapel, and uh, it's kind of known that uh, you know he uh, is doing like all of this great artwork, but he's also kind of uh, harboring a fugitive, and he hides this. He actually um, is hiding this from Tosca because she's. Though so she's very, you know, beautiful, and she's the center of his world, she's a very uh, jealous woman. What does she do? Um, she's actually a singer. Of? Of opera. Yeah. Uh, and very uh, pious woman. She's uh, always, um, well, the, the aria that we just heard is her, um, you know, basically opening herself and saying, like, I live for art and I live for love. Like, what have I done wrong? She's goes every morning, noon and night to go to pray to the Madonna and um, you know send flowers and send up these you know offerings. And so it's just um, the only I guess in her realm the only sin that she owns is kind of jealousy. And um, he knows this, but he he you know his love for her surpasses that. And so um, yeah. Okay, so uh, this is a luce by my style. Way. I'm gonna try. <laughs> no, I'll do it succeed.
sing that way for this first old page. Let you go there. Let you go. There's a beautiful voice. It's a stunning voice. Incredible musicality. You don't have to look at the page, you know what's written, you know where it's for where it's you've listened to certain tenors. <laughs> you hear that a little bit. Um, but I don't want certain tenors because you can't cookie cutter. I want to leave. And I know certain things about you, you share certain things. Um, and you know there's a time.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Goose is, Goose, I mean, I had Goose when it first opened up, but that's just the voice. But you keep Goosey's. If you sing it, if you put yourself in the music, you have to. I mean, this is, a, this is all the way, all the way down the line. Find the pain in your life. Find the hurt in your life. Find the anger in your life, in your own personal experience. Find the line that you can take it there and not just completely fall out. And I don't care if you crack a note. You, you crack, I see you crack a B flat, A flat, whatever, out there. But you still put as much passion as you just did. And you went there. It may not be normal for you. And so that's a, that's a scary part, uh, a nerve wracking part. But I guarantee you they hear it. And they love it. And it's a pain. It's a sacrifice that you have to give. But it's also a healing. Because you say, yeah, God did it. It's the worst memory in my life. Or one of them. It's a horrible experience. But that's what you bring. You don't bring copper pills. You have no idea who the guy was. You probably somebody who my sure can tell you is the, the, the first one. I'm sure he knows that stuff. Which I think is brilliant. Um, but you have to bring Leo. And your voice will only get you to a certain point. Leo will get you the rest of it. Leo will get you to the next level. To where you are doing bigger, better. Don't push, please do. God will push. At the beginning, you, was, you, you have a large voice, you have the, the, the capacity and the equipment. So if you were a panel, so we were a panel on uh, America's Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent or Australia's winning combination or whatever. The first would be what? The first time you sang it would be on um, a scale of one to ten. Six, seven, eight. And we go with the would we go with the a higher number or lower number when we got the goose?
Hi everyone, uh, my name is Ryan Oli, I come back from China and uh, I'm the baritone and I'm uh, in the area from the Don Carlo, it's the Rodrigo Dest area and, uh, and he's seen this area uh, with his brother Don Carlo and when the area finished and uh, he going to be live. Yesterday you were in the comic. No, it was before yesterday you were in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, what did you sing then? I jumped in the car, I saw what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's hear it.
my opinion, you are not a left row. Yes, sir. In my opinion, you should stick with Haida Vinta da Casa right now. Mm -hmm. The best I ever heard you sing ever mm -hmm. up to this point is this, regardless of the voice that, you know, the talk. It's, it comes and goes, believe me. Um, so I started out as my debut in New York was Rostro. And mm -hmm. and that kind of petered away because you kind of lose the gravitas when your voice is naturally going higher and higher and higher. It takes time. We're fortunate in that we our careers as um, male lower voices in general mm -hmm. last longer. Yes. Uh, the shortest is the tenor, uh, then the soprano, and then the mezzo is similar to ours as well. It varies, but that's just the generalization. So we can we have the time to take the time to figure out where our voices fit. Um, you can do this in a smaller house. Mm. I would, yes, I wouldn't hire you right now for it because I would want I want to protect you because it's a very special voice, mm. very unique voice. Um, but this was the best. My purview, and it's 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 exciting to um, have the opportunity to also work with you. Um, main language is Chinese. Mm -hmm. Secondary is Italian, probably. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then third, he working his best through the English language, which fortunately mm -hmm. for us, it's our first language, but it's a bear to learn from one of you. Um, and so. That's also a step. Um, that being said, if you are up to it, you can mark the top for me. Okay? Mm. It's generally staged when you are leaning into Don Carlos' arms because you are dying. It's not a standard walk in the stand. Sure, sure. So I would like to see the experience of you singing this. Um, if you don't mind, I can be behind you, or you can put a chair, or you can sit against the couch and have it behind you, but just down. Okay. Because you're not going to be able to think, oh my gosh, technique, here we go, here we go, in any sure, production. Sure. Um, if you want to do that, I'll okay, just that. sit here. Yeah.
Well, I did, I, did, the full, uh, I did the full five act version, yeah. and it was five and a half hours. Yeah. Oh. That was with all the extra bits they found yeah. in the library in Paris and everything. <laughs> so, Sam Raimi, Eric Halverson, Sam Raimi was Phil, Eric Halverson was the elder uh, Paul Gibbons. And Bray, and Bray. Uh, Michael Sylvester was the tenor. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Vladimir Chernoff was the baritone. Mm -hmm. um, and that was my <laughs> debut at Lyric Opera with that big old bunch of boys. And we did the five act thing. And I was finishing my master's in Northwestern. Biggest opera group ever. I can't imagine the. the Paychecks. Um, but it's a five hour opera, four hour with the normal. You gotta have tank for days. Mm -hmm. And you can sing the big stuff all the way if you want to, the big duet, it's gorgeous. You gotta have that. Right there, that's this humble, you're running out of breath. Your blood is filling in your body, but you looks like it. And uh, you're drowning in your own blood. Um, that has to be portrayed to them. Who cares about the high notes? I mean, they'll be there. Mm. You know, it's at night. I guarantee you there's not any Doug Harlow matinees. I would hope not. <laughs> Sacrificial to the whole cast. Um, but that type of thing. Um, do you have my job in the council with you? Mm. Do you have the aria with you? Sorry? Do you have the music with you? Yes, sure. I'll actually go on. Yes, sure. Can you do the rest of it again? Yes, yes. Your warrior, the Talmon Bokunir, 
I want you you go to something bad, I think. A pia termio la sentenza sarà. La sentenza sarà. What do I say? Sorry. Non c'è più nessuno. Non c'è già nessuno. La sentenza sarà. Ah, it means that um, I will decide mm. uh, what sort of uh, punishment he will receive. I will have the pleasure of deciding what punishment Figaro will receive. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. I really want to do that. Because I'm the boss. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Figaro is just a servant. Yes, yeah, yeah. okay. okay. so Nothing. Do me, uh, <laughs> you don't mind. Can we uh I don't want the eye, I just want the rest of it to work. Yeah. So we can just do that. Yeah. Alright? Okay. With the with the Italian you Nuno, know, okay. and what mm. my friends just told me. Mm. Show me what you mean, because the reason I'm doing this is because mm. when you did the competition the other day. Yes. I wanted to see the same thing that we did with Leo about bringing out, you know the language, you're familiar with the Italian, okay? Mm -hmm. if, if the translation is easier because you have to go from Italian to Chinese to English, I completely understand that, mm -hmm. my body. Mm -hmm. um, I want to see in your body what you're thinking. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. sure. And I want Rodrigo's voice mm -hmm. sung in the community sung by Malin, mm. because that's your voice. Okay. But I want to hear the count mm. in that voice. Okay, cool. And put it in your body. Put it in your body, okay. Your, your thoughts, gestures, everything. Mm. Put it in the whole thing. Got it. Capito? Capito, capito. Hai c'ha vita causa
Yeah. But that is what you have to have. And then eventually your body is going to get into it more. I can see it in your face, I can see it from your chest up. Mm -hmm. you, you, this is what you love. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole process. <laughs> it really is. Yes. It really is. Mm -hmm. He said, you little so and so. Mm. What are you? Did you? I'm telling you that little. Being smart than I can get with me. I'm a man. Let me tell you what. And then you sing the art. Uh, and it's done. Yeah. But the rest of it, especially in Mozart, is the story. Mm. And then the art is the embellishment in my humble opinion of uh, what you've just heard and what you're about to see. Um, but I, you asked me. This was, I thought it was like incredible the fact that after it was all over and we had done the presentations and do whatever we want, um, he came up to me immediately with his family and said, Master, what did I do wrong? I want to know what I did wrong. I want to know how I can improve. And uh, Simi told me just what I did. Um, that and the fact that you don't bring me. And I know that there are different competitions and different companies require, you know, you know what's coming up in their season, so you want to sing something up in that upcoming season so that you can be considered for that role. Mm -hmm. um, if it, there's a requirement for Mozart, if there's a requirement for Verdi, a requirement for art song, you have to do what is the requirements on yeah. the, the field. Um, don't put any more bass. There's no bass in your Yeah, sure, sure. No awesome. more bass. Mm -hmm. No more bass. <laughs> let, it, let it sit where it wants to. But in my opinion, you are a baritone and allow your voice, your time, your instruction, your development, decide what type of baritone. The right one you can be a baritone. Mm -hmm. it, it you. Um, again, had you done that yesterday, a day before yesterday, it would, it would, your performance would have been completely on another level. And that's what we go with. Same thing with Lever which you're never going to do again. Um, it's a list of what this guy has done, and I'm just his buddy, and I can't believe it. Turkey, Albania, and he just lists it out and shows they'll pull out this in big old books to make it look funny and honest. But you have to tell it sure. without a book and without problem. But that for you. The horse is there. I know you're tired. I'm tired too. Um, but uh, that's important. Build on that. Build on your connection. That's for this everybody. Build on your connection. Take what you have had from this 20 to 30 to whatever, how old you are. You have to bring those emotions and those life experiences into a production without it squeezing your throat off because it's, you've taken it too far. And as time goes by, you will find out how close you can get to that line of performance. But that way, that the folks that do support you to come into your group and see um, are actually getting nothing.
frequently. So continue to work on the technique. Um, there are lots of exercises that can be done for runs. If you're worried about runs, you know, about corny, about high, uh, the Melbourne method, and um, I'm sure you'll teach or teachers will give you or whatever it is. Um, uh, I, I agree about the method trial. Mm -hmm. um, why should you audition or competition with the Morello when mm -hmm. <laughs> there are plenty of rough haired bases around who have a, 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 essentially present themselves as a comic, mm -hmm. as Reverello as a comic, if you're presenting yourself as a comedian. You know? So um, everything you're saying it's not only true, it comes from your own heart, your own experience, your own sincerity. And also what I love is your down to earthness, you know. No bullshit. You know, down to earthness. It's how it is. It's bullshit. There's no bullshit. Yeah. Everybody has their own truth. This is my role as a teacher is you have a truth here, a truth here, a truth there. My role as a teacher is to see if I can create my connection between your various truths, because that was always my problem. Throughout life, you know, I, I felt this and I felt that, but it was somehow needed to connect to that. And it's still in the process of connecting. It's an unfold thing. You never stop, hopefully. Yeah, anyway, that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, I, I would be remiss if I did not thank Michael and Dr. Coy for allowing us to be in your gorgeous home and to have this opportunity. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you for the conversation coming from the radio station and the idea and making this happen. Um, Before you finish, though, um, Asha has volunteered to sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get in. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure I miss those. Those, uh, were, um, those, are, uh, those are some important folks in this area. And um, the thank yous that you do get aren't enough, in my opinion, because you do do so very much that are behind the scenes. Um, thank you for allowing me to stay at your practice. Um, that was a, a treat, fun, especially when the alarms go off. Um, but uh, never let your ego get ahead of what you cannot catch. Stay home. Know your limits. Know how much to push them. Believe in yourself because there are going to be days when you'll feel like nobody believes you. And you, you have to. Even with spouses, um, unfortunately, in the United States, the number one divorce rate is military. The second is the guards. Actors for being far away. It's part of the deal. Um, and it's hard. The career is already hard enough. There's a lot of travel. There's a lot of wear and tear. Um, if there's something else you can do with your life and be happy, do it. <laughs> um, I'm serious. I'm, I'm serious. Uh, because uh, it requires so much. It really does. And it requires all of you. Not just the court. Not just the court. Mm -hmm. To know it. I always got to end with the tenors. <laughs> Great. Tenor, yeah. Very good. What do you have? Um, today I'll be singing uh, the story of an Asura, my Asha. Um, this aria. Um, this aria is from an opera called La Laziana. Um, the character Federico is about to fall asleep um, and he's having a dream um, about these letters um, that were written for um, this girl from Alice. Um, he's meant to be married towards a girl that he's known for quite a while, a while since he was a young boy, um, but he's kind of been um, tempted by this woman um, that she's ended up going off with another man. Um, so this aria is basically his lament um, and He's kind of cry, cry for help. He kind of wants to die because he's lost this woman.
Um, he's his bank. The date's done. My name's son. Um, he has fled. Bank or he's dead.
goosey. You're yeah. good to goosey. And God said, you can feel your pain. I don't say so it hurts. Yeah. That's not the that's not the pain we're talking about. You've been your heart broken. You've been your heart broken recently. You have got so much to pull from anger, hurt. Laughter is really close to sadness. The fine line. You may be able to laugh. You may cry just like that. Talk more. Please, in the future. <laughs> Never sing with less than that than what you give, and you will be more successful. Humble opinion. Um, that was it. That's legit. That's legit. And I don't mean act it. That wasn't acting. I mean, you can feel it, and people know. And people know. And Bill know. Try to find, you know, I totally do it. And I've spoken with him a little bit. hurt you in your life, the things that make you so ticked off in your life. And if you keep your cords where they're supposed to be, and your technique where you're supposed to be, but you bring your body and your experiences, you can sell it to people on the street for pennies, or to houses, and people that are interested in, in making art, making music, and that's what that is. Yeah. That's all of you. That's every part of you. It's not just checking it in. It's not just funny. Anything else? Thank you. I covered, I covered it all, I hope. I covered it all. Again, Michael and Troy, thank you so much. Betty, thank you for uh, always magnificent playing. Um, I love the fact that David plays Italian. Um, we got along real well because uh, we were making the opera of Macbeth like from an Italian opera to an English opera. And uh, his assistance with that will always be. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this with us. We're incredibly privileged, mm -hmm. and um, it, it's a, an amazing honour to witness this process um, and and to see the profound effect that some wise coaching can bring to um, the sound that's produced and, and the entire performance. So um, we're really, really honoured to share this. Um, thank you for, for opening your lungs and, and, and your hearts and embracing this opportunity. Doing it in front of strangers is probably um, not the way that you'd like to learn things. But, um, uh, for us, it's revelatory. Just really a wonderful, wonderful experience. Thank you, Linda, for opening it up, and and John for and and David for for sharing um, these last couple of hours with us. Just a wonderful, wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate. It. Thank you, Michael. Thank you your house and your piano. Um, thanks to everyone for doing this. I think it's been a really, um, it's certainly, I don't think it's something that's going to be missing from next year's festival. But uh, I certainly enjoy um, bringing more people into the process because um, you get to a certain stage as a, as a young singer where what you need is some um, like horse whispering, <laughs> baritone whispering. Um, just to bring it to the next level, and we all saw that today. It's, it takes a lot of courage for singers to just launch into something new, and I think um, everybody needs to be congratulated. So thank you to John and David for, for donating their time today. It's fantastic. Thank you, everyone.